Welcome. Hey, it's Thursday. It's 9 a.m. on the East Coast of the U.S. Uh, it's not 9 a.m. everywhere, but we'll get to that. Uh, we have gotten up early today to uh, introduce the, the Gear Report Nation, the Gear Report, uh, to, to introduce everyone out there to craft holsters. You have to bear with me. It's early enough. I am under caffeinated, so I will be hitting the coffee as we go, and hopefully I will get a little easier to understand as we go as well. I'd like to introduce you real quick to uh, Luke at Craft Holsters. Um, it looks like we're sitting side by side, but we're not. Where, where are we talking to you from? You're talking to Central Europe. Central Europe, awesome. I think mentioning town names would be irrelevant, so I just <laughs> want to say to our followers that you're enjoying a morning cup of coffee. I have my afternoon tea. Yeah, there we go. All <laughs> right, so um, we may have to talk hockey later. That looked like hockey on the mug. Um, no, I'm sorry. A maybe, dumbbell. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> gotcha. A dumbbell. Um, so anyhow, craft holsters. Yes. Uh, the way this came about is with SHOT Show canceled, we're reaching out to brands that we'd like to get to know better, that we were hoping to see at SHOT Show and uh, have some conversations with. Well, SHOT Show isn't happening. So we're reaching out to brands, inviting them in. So, uh, oh, look at that. TJ is out there in the chat this morning. And I agree with you, brother, coffee does rule. So anyone else who's out there, I see a few people trickling in. We usually kind of stall a little bit early in the live streams to give people a chance to get the notification and get in. As people show up, please leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you don't mind, because um, leaving a comment, giving a thumbs up helps feed the YouTube algorithm. So more people will see this, more people will be able to learn about craft holsters. So let's dive into that. And um, what I know about craft holsters is that uh, Chris Dover, Clover Tack, who publishes reviews on Gear Report, has published a few reviews about a couple different types of craft holsters. Let me bring that screen up. We'll just scroll through that real quick here. And we see a Lynx inside the waistband and outside the waistband and another inside with a single magazine pouch. So we've had a few reviews on here all by Clover. That's the extent of the interaction that we've had. So I really want to get to know who is the the uh, Craft Holsters brand. You know, what are the scope of the products that you offer, um, and, and any anything else you'd like to share with us? And good morning, Mr. Perkins. Perkins, thanks for joining us. So Luke, I'm going to hand it off to you to introduce us to Craft Holsters now. Well, thank you. I just want to say real quick that sometimes the um, the image gets uh, sketchy and it freezes. So hopefully you can all hear me well because yes. I can hear you well most of the time. And well, about the brand, hmm, from what you read in the uh, in the reviews, we are proud to offer custom made holsters for people that are interested in leather. Mostly, the brand itself was established somewhere in 2014. And the basis behind it that we wanted to provide custom leather for people and do it on a budget. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to get a good holster that will last a lifetime. So that's the basis. And then we, I mean, we shaped our product, we shaped our website to be very user friendly, customer friendly, and we're trying our best to survive in the holster world. We offer our range offers well. We offer a wide range of products, all carry styles, mostly outside the waistband, inside the waistband, and shoulder holsters. They are all well for concealed carry, either if you are well open carry or concealed carry. So this is it. Okay. We do have some Good. Kydex, some nylons, some belly bands, fanny packs, a lot of mag pouches, gun belts, this the standard. But our okay. main focus Good. is leather and good so leather. The main market that you serve, are you targeting the U.S. market, Car yes. targeting Europe? Are you a global company? What, well, what are you after? We're a global company. The main focus is on the United States. Some of our customers are from Canada. We also have some customers from Europe, but mainly the United States. Okay, good. Well, we appreciate the attention. Thank you. <laughs> um, why don't we do this? Let me, and, and bear with me, This the tool we use, StreamYard, 
uh, lets us bring up different screens to show, but it can be a little tedious on the back end. There we go. So I'm going to bring up the Craft Holsters website. You talked about some of the different products that you have available product categories. I thought it might be nice to uh, show some examples here on the screen and, and give us something to talk about. So if well, we- main interest is holsters, so. Yeah. Yeah, so if we come into the uh, holsters category, uh, it looks like you can search by uh, manufacturer, pick from, uh, mm -hmm. from a long, wow, that's a long list of manufacturers. Oh, yeah very long list and uh, all the different models. So you can go specifically to something that fits uh, a specific yes, gun that you have. That's basically our, our proposition. We do it for your gun specifically, no shelf holsters, custom made holsters for guns. So if you have a, a I don't know, a Red 92, you will get a holster for a Red 92 that will not fit an FS with a rail because the, it's kind of different. Okay, good. So, and and is everything a custom fit holster, or do you have anything oh, that's like, yeah, if you have holsters. a large frame pistol, you can get this? And well, uh, all leather holsters are uh, made to be custom made, right? But for example, the nylon products, they surely can be switched if you have same frames. But we don't recommend it. We do it for uh, specific handguns, so it's one use per holster. But we are gotcha. not talking about fanny packs and etc. Yes, understood. Yeah, so I I did what you suggested and went into Beretta ninety two, and uh, and we can see that's a pretty popular uh, firearm. So mm -hmm. there are a lot of options in here. Um, all right, we have some outside the waist, some some inside the waist, the classic under the shoulder holsters, mm -hmm. mag pouches. Oh wow, there's five pages of products here. That's uh, that's kind of impressive. So um, I don't know the laws in Central Europe. Are you someplace where you are able to carry personally? Uh, yes, fortunately I live or we operate in a more gun friendly country than yes. uh, Western Europe. We are in the Central Slovak Republic. Mm -hmm. We have some laws, but they are not so strict. You can carry, you can open carry, you can concealed carry Nice. Uh, as a civilian. So. But we are not that much of gun enthusiasts, but there are there are some examples. Yeah, yeah. So, and I was asking, um, do you have a favorite? Like of all the different types of holsters that you offer, what what's your personal favorite? My personal favorite, I think, would be strong side OWB holsters. I like them. They fit good. They ride well. They are not obstructive. I, I was I just recently made a couple of product videos and uh, outside the waistband holsters were the most comfortable to wear. Gotcha. So that would be the favorite. Okay, good. Good to know. Uh, and let me pop back over here. Good. No, no comments. If you see any comments, if I'm on a so when we're looking at a web page, I'm off of the StreamYard mm -hmm. screen and I won't see comments that come in. So if I'm ever scrolling on a web page while we're talking and I miss a comment, feel free to let me know. Um, but again, we're early. I'm not sure much of our audience is, is able to join us uh, uh, at this point, but uh, I think this would be a great uh, video and replay for people to, to help get to know the yeah, brand. Yes. Yeah, so um, let's see. Holsters, you have leather nylon, kydex, mag pouches, uh, the same plus uh, ammo and speed loader pouches. That's kind of interesting. Gun belts. So honestly, um, craft holsters, all I had seen were the things that Clover had done, which were three mm -hmm. different leather holsters. It's kind of neat to me to see the uh, wide range of other products. So uh, in the gun belts, what can you tell me about, um, you know, I've had a variety of gun belts. Some of them have been very lightweight and not done a great job. Others have been heavier duty and uh, really well, held yeah, up well. well. Our gun belts are made for holsters and firearms specifically. Some of them are more lightweight and most of them are heavy duty. Not specifically duty belts for police officers, but uh, yeah. quality leather, uh, lateral stitching, etc. So. They are made to last and to hold holsters. Yeah, most of them. Good, 
Good. Uh, is there any kind of reinforcement in them or just the heavy yes, leather? duty belts and mm -hmm. IPSC belts, we have them reinforced. Other than that, that's just proper leather. No gotcha. reinforcement. As of now, because we are always trying to uh, make new products. Yes. So maybe in the future, more heavy duty belts. But as of now, we have these. This is pretty neat. I'm looking at the IPSC belt mm -hmm. and uh, that looks pretty uh, highly configurable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, uh, what uh, IPSC and sport shooting is fairly uh, popular in Slovakia. So we have, this is something we all can relate to even here. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> so let's dive in a bit to the, um, the history of, well, you already said a bit of the history of the brand, mm -hmm. a few years old. Uh, where do you see the brand going at this point? Where we, we are leaning towards more leather products, more customizable products. We mm -hmm. recently started our own custom shop. You can see it on the website in the upper right corner. And custom shop means that it's something that we dubbed as one of a kind experience because we have one master craftsman who makes a holster for you. You just tell him what you want and he makes it. <clears throat> if you scroll down, you can see various designs that he's capable of and he's done. We already sold a couple of them to customers from all around the world. He makes them by hand, every single thing. For oh, example, wow. no sewing machines, no cutting machines. He does it all by hand. So this is a new thing. And we are hoping that people will catch on with this because these holsters are truly unique. You'll find no other holster like this in the world because the guy makes them. And then we're leaning towards more affordable holsters in leather for people, basically. That's the plan. Let's see what 2021 brings. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's some neat holsters in here starting at 299. So, uh, especially someone who's got a nice, uh, a really nice uh, sidearm that they want to show off. Uh, that is a pe people tell me I'm hard to buy for. I'll tell you right now if anyone is looking to get me something, I'm a sucker for anything with the Gear Report logo on it. I bet if you, uh, if you sent the logo that uh, they'd be able to, to maybe you can score a deal. Yeah. Yeah. That'd, that'd be awesome. Um, but, but, uh, but seriously, anyone looking to get me something, this would be pretty, pretty cool. All right. Uh, so typically, uh, again, we're kind of replicating the, the mm -hmm. discussion we would have if we were at shot show. All right. Let me bring that screen down, bring us back. So uh, let, let's say we're at a trade show and we walk up to the booth and, hey, we're Gear Report, we review stuff. Obviously, we already know you a little bit because you've worked with Clover and we've got a, a few reviews up. Uh, your value proposition is a budget-friendly holster. Well, that... let's, say, let's put it this way. It's not like budget-friendly, but if you browse our website, you see they are more affordable than other leather holster companies. But we are not uh, pushing it as this is a budget-friendly option. We are just telling mm -hmm. you, hey, you can have a custom holster and you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So why not? It, all, it has all the features, all the warranties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're at that gift level, TJ, come on. I'd get That's it for wrong. you as far as you know. Yeah. I, I think I'm worthy. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but, but we do appreciate TJ chiming in there. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about here quickly? Um, I didn't want to spend the whole time just with the website up, but you know what? Let me get back to StreamYard and let's look at the various places people can find you. So if someone wants more information on your brand and your products, obviously we've seen the website and what we saw live is it's pretty easy to search to find uh, what products are available for specific firearms or to search by category and type of product, other places that you can be found. Uh, let's see. I need to stop Basically that. Basically, all social media. So, Yeah, so I'm going to bring up. If you're, of course, if you're more interested in a product, you will, I suggest contacting us through our website for email because we can help you more. The customer service can help you more uh, specifically. But if you want some engagement, some fun, and maybe some cooperations with us, you can just hit us up at Facebook or Instagram. Okay, good. So I, let's see, I brought up 
Facebook. And uh, what, what I really like about social media, uh, sometimes, you know, it can be a rat hole you go down and, and there's not a lot that happens of value. But what's really cool with products like this is you can scroll through and see as new products are coming out, you guys post pictures of, hey, here's something we've got. Or you can see where customers have sent in pictures or posted pictures and maybe get some creative ideas of, oh, well, I hadn't thought of, of wearing a holster that way. Or you know, I like the look of that one. I've never used one like that. So uh, there, there's a lot of neat uh, images on here. I'm assuming that's the team there. Yes, we are recently moved to a new, uh, new company, well, not company, new space. So we're busy building. It's finished already, thankfully. Excellent. So um, as far as the company being around for a few years, um, how how's business? I mean, are, are things growing? Are you? Um, thankfully, still, yes, yeah. growing. It's good. Thank yeah. God. OK. Um, Anytime someone's looking for a holster, they clearly are going to want one for the specific gun that they have in mind. Do you know off the top of your head how many different specific firearm models that you support? Actually, I checked it today precisely 1,596. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. So um, if there's if there's something that uh, someone's not going to find, is it going to be just strange rare firearms you you carry most of the typical stuff yes we carry most of the typical stuff and if customers send us uh, requests we also pay attention to the requests and try to find uh, blue guns for those guns so we can then add mm -hmm. them to our roster and make holsters for it so it's done on a monthly basis so anyone with a suggestion can hit us up and if we can find a blue gun, we can then think of adding it to <clears throat> to the gun list. Okay, so I'm I'm on the east coast of the U.S. If I order a holster today, what kind of typical expectation am I going to have for well, its it arrival? Depends. Most of our products are custom made, and the process takes four to five weeks of uh, manufacture. Plus, then you choose shipping. We have express shipping that can be there in two to three days, or couple of maybe 10 days if you choose the cheaper option but um all of also our products are some of them are, some of them are on stock for well let's say common firearm models like cold governments or other 1911s berettas glocks six hours etc so you can have it basically in five days five business days wow. and also some of our products that come from italy have a shorter turnaround time of maybe two to three weeks so at the best part, five days, at the worst part, five weeks. Okay, good, good. And, uh, you know, for people who aren't familiar in the holster market, even that, that longer option of five weeks is not unusual. Mm -hmm. That is... Sometimes, uh, it can, sometimes it can get even like longer, seven weeks, but then we contact our customers because that has to have a reason. Yeah. It's like the delay always has a reason and we try to figure it out with them. Hopefully yeah. to their satisfaction sometimes, but you can't please all people. So. Sure. Okay. So what else, if we were, if we were standing together in a booth at a trade show, what else would you want us to know about uh, the Craft Holsters brand? What would I like you to know? Well, you would definitely see the products that we have there. So I would show you all the holsters because what I saw that you reviewed or uh, Chris reviewed, I think only OWVs and one inside the waistband holster. Right. I would definitely show you some paddle holsters, shoulder holsters, etc. We have a nice collection of shoulder holsters that people really like and enjoy. So maybe those. Yeah. Oh, you didn't tell me you were also a model. Look at this. Yeah. yeah and that's <laughs> a, actually a funny story for anyone watching this. You can go to our Instagram and read the comments. Man, I really laughed today. <laughs> it seems they don't like me. They, they're breaking my heart. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's People. really good. It's, it's a good laugh. For everyone watching it, enjoy your morning coffee and laugh a bit. It's nice. People are nice and friendly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think yeah. I want to read some of these on air. Um, <laughs> the, that's that's surprising. Yeah. See, I, I thought that was to, a good picture. Yes, I wasn't this, bringing it up to poke fun at you. Turned into a roast me. Like, roast <laughs> me. Oh, come on. Well, but hey, we're in the digital media world where yeah. any interaction helps get your brand seen by more people. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's roast me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I see that uh, you had a Memorial Day sale. Mm -hmm. um, I thought we I have saw... a month. For example, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt you. We have a monthly well competition for anyone that shares a picture of our product on social media. He can win or she can win a 100% money back. So like we choose a winner and then we pay him the holster he bought, and it's no. done at random. So anyone can join. Anyone can win. Okay, 100% money back photo contest winner. Okay, so here's one. Jim is the winner of the January money back photo contest. Awesome. Well, that's uh, that's good to know. All right. Guess again. That's interesting too. All right, so I think we've kind of covered some of the products. I kind of want to go back to the website and dig through some of the other ones oh and i missed some comments from tj that's me shoulder holster oh for the dbx 57 <laughs> yeah so the dbx 57 uh from uh, diamondback firearms has just come out uh and it's it's not an ar pistol but it's not a standard pistol either i think that would be an odd one that i would not expect you I checked it on Google. Well, I have bad news for TJ. I'm sorry, TJ. We can figure out something else. We probably won't be able to do a shoulder holster for this beauty. Yeah, that uh, that that uh, TJ is just kind of throwing throwing tough ones at you, and he's he's <laughs> absolutely correct. They do roast me oh. quite a bit. That seems to be, you know, the theme usually when I do a live broadcast is they just give me a hard time yeah. the I whole can, time. I can you, you can roast me today. You take a day <laughs> off of roasting. Yeah, it, it's all it's all good as long as people are having fun and enjoying the broadcast. I'm happy. I'm going to navigate back to the main website and uh, I just want to look at some of the other things real quick that we talked about but didn't really dig into. Oh wow! So uh, you do textile bags and things, not just like nylon holsters, yeah. but also oh, bags for concealed carry. Yeah. <clears throat> Jacob is writing. Oh, let me go back and see what Jacob says. Oh, and TJ was upset. I'm TJ, sorry, TJ really has happened. one of the first DBX five sevens to make it out of the factory. Uh, he, he knows no one has a holster for that. <laughs> thought roasting Jeff was a point of these things. You know, if it takes the heat off of someone else, I'm happy for that to be the point of it. But in this case, you know, we also want to learn about holsters and, uh, a cool company over there in Europe. There we go. Yep. Off the rails already. That's where I like to spend most broadcast is off the rails. Yeah, some neat uh, neat products in here. Um, so the the designs for most of this stuff, do you have in-house designers or do you contract out with people or? Both, we all, we work with, well, how do we call them? Well, our manufacturers to be precise. And they have designs that we use and sell to people, we work with them. Yeah. And then a couple of, last couple of months we are and still are working on our own designs. I think they were reviewed by Chris Clovertech. Mm -hmm. But this is the trend for us developing our new products. We are trying to make, trying to cover all the variety. We have a outside the waistband, inside the waistband, and small of back shoulder, a small of back holster. And we are working on shoulder holsters, cross jaw holsters, and finally are trying to work out on a, how do you call it, Cheswick, Alaska oh, style theory. A lot of people yeah. with revolvers are interested in chest rigs. And at the time, unfortunately, we don't have them, but we're working on developing some for those nine, right. those nine revolvers. Yeah. So have the the people who have, have said they, they'd like to see chest rigs, have they said what they're planning on using them for? Hunting mostly, hiking and hunting. Yeah. yeah. 
So we are going to have a chest rig in a couple of months, hopefully it will meet their expectations. But we are trying to develop new designs all the time. Yeah. And we introduced also the custom shop for people who like pretty things. To do. Yeah. And and things that are um that are made for them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh you know the what is it? The most popular word in the English language is uh, a person's own name. You know, that's the word that they like the best. <laughs> so, yeah, good stuff. All right. So, I, yeah, I just pulled up the, the typical, you know, 5-inch 1911. And it looks like all the same products that were available for the Beretta. Mm -hmm. A very wide range of products here. I'm going to scroll through, see if we get any questions or comments on these and uh i will encourage anyone who wants to hear uh, an unbiased opinion to go check out those reviews that uh, chris at clover tech did he's got uh, three of them i think he's got some videos in there as well and um you know that that'll help you get to understand what his experience was because uh, as far as I know, he didn't really have any experience with your brand either, that uh, you sent him something and that was the first time he'd really had any interaction with craft holsters. So he didn't know what he was getting into and he opened the package and was like, wow, this is like a really nice, well-made, heavy-duty, all-leather holster. So the Kydex... Um, is it, well, let me click on one. That looks like a hybrid with leather in the back. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, that, that looks very... Hybrid. Are you interested in hybrid holsters? We are probably going to add them in the spring. Mm -hmm. Hybrid of leather platform and a Kydex holster parts. So mm -hmm. we also have these. And we have a question in the chat. Oh, let me go back. I think we can answer both now. All right, let me catch up real quick here. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. JMA is with us. Good to see you. And uh, staying current with the trends and customer needs. Well, that, that's a good way to grow business, okay. I think. And let's see. Having such a hard time finding XDM 10 left oh you shoot wrong-handed come on jma <laughs> i can solve this for him and luke i'll let you address this from a holster standpoint but i don't have anything in 10 millimeter and i've got a stack of 10 millimeter in the gun room burning a hole in the shelf so the obvious solution is send me that xdm 10 millimeter and then luke and i'll work something out on a holster right Definitely, yes yeah, I think that's what makes the most sense. Yeah. Or how would you help JMA solve this, Luke? It's very easy. You can just scroll to the upper part of our website, if you would be so kind. And up to the holsters parts, holsters in the mm -hmm. left, left corner, and then through Springfield. All right, I got to remember what letter comes before the other ones. Okay, good and scroll down to the xdm we have a so-called to be specific xdm elite precision 5.25 inch xdm option. elite precision that, from my standpoint covers the modal and the barrel length okay and then click on find holsters and probably 95 of our percent 95 percent of our holsters can be made for left-handed shooters so just wow. pick a design if of course this is your handgun JMA. If this is your handgun, you can just choose from the holsters, choose left handed, and there you go. Yep. Awesome. And the left handed yep. choice is inside. If you click on any of the, the products, you still have to confirm the gun, the model, the color, and the hand, etc. Oh, okay. So black and then that kind of warm brown color, mm -hmm. right or left handed. Got it. And the, yep, pick that. Monogram embossing, that. Eight bucks for a little bit of customization. That's yes. not bad. Yeah, I like that. They're made in gold. Probably can be seen on one of our social media accounts. A small, very decent gold embossed monograms. 
Some people like them really, some people don't. Yeah, yeah, understood. Uh, they, they are just, they look very small. They're more detail oriented. It's not a giant monogram. It's yes. A small one. Yeah, if you want giant monogram, you can go up to custom shop and request whatever you want to fill the whole side. And something I like on your website here is it's, it gives an expectation mm -hmm. of when it might be received uh, or at least when it might be shipped. So that's, uh, that's good. I think managing customer expectations. Okay. Um, I think we've made a pretty good tour through the products here. Um, having a very hard time. Okay. That is, that's the same thing, right? Okay, good. I'm on the website now. I'll be ordering one by this afternoon. Thank you so much. Well, there you go. I just wanted to share information, and we're already driving an order for you. So, uh, so it's paying off for everyone. Making uh, <laughs> making uh, JMA happy with uh, a nice new holster on the way, and uh, getting a sale for you. Getting the word out about the brand. Um, Anything else before we wrap up? I mean, we've uh, we've had a pretty good discussion here, but uh, is there anything that I didn't ask about that you wanted to, to share with people? I don't know. I think you covered the most important topics. Okay, good. So um, people can buy directly off your website. What other places? So let's say someone like JMA has watched and said, oh, I want one of those. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they can order through the website. Are there any other places? Unfortunately not. We are just an online business. So mm -hmm. it's best to address us, contact us if you have questions and order from us. We do only online business. Good. And I, I think that's key to being able to offer um, a quality product without having a really high price is you cut some of those like the distribution layers out. Everyone who touches a product in the sales yeah. channel has to make money. So <laughs> if they're getting it direct from you, they're cutting out a number of people who would otherwise have to make money. So that's saving the customer money. I like that. I know some people, um, uh, I know some gun dealers who get upset about, well, no, they need to buy through us. But, uh, but, but this looks like uh, the, definitely the direction that the future is headed. So uh, last, uh, I'm, I'm going to do last call for questions here. If anyone has anything else you want to know, go ahead and post them up quick. Otherwise we're going to start wrapping things up. We talked about where they can get them. Oh, you know what I meant to ask you? Do you have, uh, you said you have a chest rig coming, anything else new in the pipeline that you want to tease people with that, that may be coming soon? Yes, we are planning to release new products beginning of in the beginning of maybe spring, early spring 2021, different designs, maybe some hybrids, different type of holsters. So people can check it out. It's going to go out early in next year. I hope it's going to be early spring, maybe January or February. Or hopefully not March. <laughs> yeah. OK, great. We'll look forward to that. And, and of course, uh, one thing to mention, we encourage everyone who likes who has a channel or does reviews to review our products to form an unbiased option opinion. I'm sorry, unbiased opinion. So they can go on and review it however they want. Excellent. And and we like to hear that. You'd be surprised. I, I've run this uh, gear report at, at a review site for over a decade. And you would be surprised the number of brands who reach out and say, hey, what's it cost to get a five-star review? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Well, you can always sell them like $1 million and maybe they will pay. Oh, maybe I should do that. Yeah. Try it once. Yeah. Well, we, we've spent, we've spent a long time building up a reputation of integrity here. I hate to, I hate to sell it, but man, a million dollars. <laughs> TJ likes to say, Hey, $20 is $20, but, uh, you know, um, that's, uh, that's a whole nother story. Okay. Um, thank you everyone for joining us, Luke. Thank you so much. I know that this messed with your schedule since it's your afternoon. Okay. It's our morning. Thank you so much for being flexible for and working me. something out. Thank you for breaking out of your native language. <laughs> I don't know why uh, that I heard, you know, Luke, Luke doesn't speak English as his first language. So take it easy on him. You've done Thank one. You for, this is, well, uh, I'm doing my best. <laughs> Yes, yes, you're doing very well. So thanks again. With that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up. This will be available out in replace. You can share that around. We're definitely going to share that around. And definitely let us know what we can do for you moving forward. Until next mm -hmm. time, we'll see you at the range.